Well, Merry Christmas Eve to everybody, and this afternoon I thought I would um, spend just a few minutes with you, and I was tagged in the Christmas um, tag by Yolanda over at Bombshell Beauty, and I'm going to share a little list of 16 questions with you, my favorite things, or Christmas thoughts and memories with you, and if you would share back, because it is the um, season of giving and sharing with everybody, um, the questions will be listed in my little um, box down below, and if you'd like to share your own little things that would be lovely or if you have your own little YouTube channel like mine or a bigger one <laughs> and you like to do the Christmas tag please do so all right so I'm going to try to bring up my questions here um, on my cell phone and we know how versed I am with this thing so um, what is your favorite Christmas mu movie musical well, I guess it can be musical, too, because a lot of those old cartoons used to have a lot of singing in it. You know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and these, of course, are cartoons, but they're from my childhood. And um, so Rudolph and Frosty the Snowman and um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, those are the ones that I really remember from being really, really little and, like, my very favorite one. And it was so sad and sweet, and it was such a lovely movie, was The Little Drummer Boy. I have to say that movie stuck out. Um, in my mind the most from when I was just very very little so those are my favorite kind of childhood young cartoon movies and my favorite of course nostalgic type vintage Christmas is um, White Christmas with Bing Crosby and all and uh, Rosie Clooney in it who else was in that oh lord Danny it's not oh lord White Christmas. I wish I could remember all the all the actors, but you know when you're trying to pull files. So that would be one of my favorite um, old time movies. And then also it was called um, Bed, Bell, and Candlestick. I believe the name was um, the name of it. And Kim, I believe it was Kim Novak was in that one. And that is my favorite old around the Christmas season movie. Um, so it had a little Christmas theme to it, but it was kind of also supernaturally, you know, and I like that type of stuff because it had to do with warlocks and witches and falling in love and giving up your powers and it all was around Christmas time. And so that was just a, a lovely what love can do to your heart type of movie. So um, going on to the more future, I know it's supposed to be one, but I'm going to share a couple. And then, of course, the nowadays movies I love, like Elf, me and my boys will still watch that. And I just think that is just a hoot. And the Santa Claus movies, one and two, and um, the movies like that, too, that are still, they're still sweet, but they're a little bit funny. And uh, we can, we all sit down as a family and watch those. So those are my favorite. I couldn't just take it. How can you take Christmas movies down to, to one cartoon movie or one musical or whatever? So there's just kind of a lot of the things that I like, right? I know, you know me, I can never like just pick one. So, um, have you ever had a white Christmas? Every Christmas. <laughs> have I ever had a white Christmas? Every single Christmas. Some are more white than others. This is a lovely white Christmas and it's snowing today as a matter of fact. Lovely white fluffy snow so you know you can get where you want to go. It's not the icy stuff. So, I always have a white Christmas and I'm very appreciative of that because I know in some parts of the, the country um, you don't have that don't have it you probably don't miss it but for me I would miss having a white Christmas if I moved away for the winters and stuff so every Christmas for me is a white Christmas all right question number three where do you usually spend Christmas at home at home is uh, we've gone um, here or there a couple times through the years and stuff but always Christmas has always been home base it's the time when it's just a uh, there are a few family members that are over and it's very cozy and um, we still do all the Christmas things and stuff and we'll even have our lovely Christmas Day dinner oh my beautiful Christmas china that was my mother's uh, but we'll, we'll be in our Christmas PJs and we'll have a beautiful sit-down dinner but we'll just watch movies and play games all day and be all comfy cozy and have our blankets out and stuff so that's kind of our little Christmas our Christmas traditions Christmas Day so we stay at home what are some of your favorite Christmas songs I pretty much like all the Christmas songs too isn't that awful when they go oh, what's your favorite one that gets to my heart every year of course is the little drummer boy I hear that that come on and I can remember growing up my mom had the old um, album she'd say that no you'd only hear it at Christmas you would only hear it in December and um, it was the soundtrack to the little drummer boy and it was the original soundtrack and I still have the album and I'll get that out only at Christmas time and put that on and play that um, 
play that uh, LP. So it'd be the little drummer boy. It always just tugs on my heart because it reminds me of um, growing up and my mom and my mom putting it on her uh, big fancy phonograph that she had in her bedroom because she was the only one allowed to play it. So I'd have to say the little drummer boy. You know, it might be kind of a different one, but um, okay. So do you open presents on Christmas Eve? Um, depending. Sometimes, depending on where we all are or when, if every everybody happens to be home, um, we'll open one present. And when the kids were really little, we always let them pick out one little present under the tree. Um, but now, kind of, you know, when you're, you don't have little ones anymore, everybody kind of waits till the next day. So we really don't now, as adults, do that. But when my kids were little, they were always allowed to pick one little teeny present under the tree to open up. That's too hard for kids to have to wait till the next day, don't you think? I think it is. <laughs> um, can you name all the Santa's reindeer? Yes, but I have to sing it. And I can sing it, but I'm not going to sing it. But yes, I can. I have to sing the um, Do You Know song to get them all out there so I can do them if I'm allowed to sing. But not if you want to hear me sing, believe you me. <laughs> what holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Um... It's just spending time with family, I guess, is our biggest tradition. You know, it's the socks, and um, in the morning, everybody gets up, and um, first thing we usually do is we'll um, get the Christmas socks out, and everybody gets their Santa stuff and their socks, and then um, I will pass out all the presents. I kind of do that every year because years and years, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember, um, because the kids are curious, and if they see their name on a package, my boys are adults now, they would, you know, they want to open it or shake it or this or that, I put no names on any of my packages. I always have a little clue that I put on the package somewhere where I know what it is, where I put the boys, you know, a Z or an S or a G, so I know whose it is. But all the packages under the tree have no name tags on them from me, but I know where they're going. So you can, you can look under there all you want, but you're not going to know. So that's kind of a little tradition that I do, is that there's no names on the packages under the tree, which is kind of fun for me because nobody can be, like, guessing or getting in there ahead of time. <laughs> but just the usual stuff and just spending time with um, family members and whatnot. And do we have a real or fake tree? When the kids were little, we, you know, live in Wisconsin. And when they were small, we always took the boys out, bundled them up, got the sled out, went out in the middle of, um, it was called Santa's um, Tree Farm. And it was um, ran by Toad and Arlene Flanders, which were family friends from years and years ago. And then we'd go tromp it out. And of course, you always have to start at the farthest corner, way out. And it's not flat fields and stuff. It's not like a, it was like there were hills and valleys. And we'd end up in the back 40 because, you know, that's where the good trees are because nobody wants to trek back there because there wasn't like trails and stuff. You were sometimes, you know, thigh high in snow, but that's what we always did. And the kids would be pulled on the toboggan and We'd get the cut the tree down and then drag it back and stuff. So those were always great Christmas memories when the kids were little. Now <laughs> we do get an artificial tree, and I have um, one that looks like a traditional Christmas tree, and we put all the old ornaments or old vintage ornaments on that one. If I put two up during the year, this year we're only putting one up, and I've only done that the last couple of years. And we have um, one where we put all the old glass ornaments on it for my grandmother, my mother some from when the boys were growing up and stuff and it's a fiber optic tree so it's just the fiber optic um, needles which are beautiful first I'm like oh those aren't traditional twinkle lights but now it kind of grows on you and with the beautiful bulbs and stuff those are really showing off so it used to be but now we're we're artificial just for kind of convenience and whatnot <clears throat> what is your favorite all-time food and sweet treat um, whatever we have for dinner. I don't mind. We have a nice sit-down dinner because in these busy times, you know, your family doesn't get and have a nice sit-down on the dining room table with your nice dishes out very often. So whatever meal is served is my favorite for the day. And my favorite sweet for just me are, um, they're called peanut blossom cookies. And the dough is a peanut butter dough, which is rolled in ball, it's rolled in sugar. And then you bake them and then when they come out of the oven, you know, and they're just little, you press a um, kiss in the middle of them. So it's called a peanut blossom. Back in the day, my ma my grandma always made them, Grandma Bernice. And um, she used, they're from the Star Starburst Company or something up in the city. Star something. Candy Company up in the cities. Lord, I wish I could remember the name of that. That's not it. But they made the kisses that weren't pre-wrapped. And they, they were all um, swirly looking and stuff. Um, you know, they were 
made candies and stuff, but they were in like a bag that weren't individually wrapped like the kisses are, and they were swirly looking on the top. And that's what Grandma always, um, and you can still find them sometimes. Fritzy Fresh. Fritzy Fresh Candy, that was the name of it. I love when something pops up in your head like that. So peanut blossom cookies are my favorite cookie. Or sweet. I could eat those with milk or coffee or tea or whatever. <laughs> um, let me see here. Um, do you enjoy giving or receiving better? Giving. 100% giving. Um, I was find kind of like, oh, don't get me anything. I don't need anything. And it's so sweet when somebody does. But I really love giving gifts. And since, you know, Christmas has gotten smaller and smaller and less people, less people. Like I said, this year I wasn't going to do any. I couldn't do it. I could not go go shopping. And I thought this year we went and I'm getting like nostalgic fun um, almost kid-centered gifts that are going to be just like fun memory things for my kids, you know, because my kids are all in their um, early to mid-twenties, so I got them some memory stuff from when they were in grade school, and that would be their Christmas presents. So just some fun, kitschy stuff, some um, vintage toys and shirts, and just, just something fun like that. All right. What was the best Christmas gift you ever received? gotten a lot of neat gifts from everybody over the years, but I gotta have to say one of my favorite ones that meant like the most to me, like the boys give me some nice stuff too that they've handmade. I guess the the handmade gifts from my boys through the years, hands down, are always my favorite things, no matter what it was, from the time they're little till they're older if they made something. So they're handmade gifts. And the my favorite like bought and gift that I ever got was um me and my my husband Gary were just dating a couple of years and for um, Christmas he gave me a mother's ring. I mean what a thoughtful gift. It was just a beautiful simple mother's ring with my birthstone and my boy's birthstones and it, that was like my favorite I'd say bought and gift but otherwise all the stuff that my boys have made me through the years are my favorites. I always just like getting handmade stuff. Alrighty. Doo -doo -doo. Um, what would be your dream, 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 dream place to visit for the Christmas season? And Yolanda had said this, and when she said this, I'm like, me too. I would love if it would mean not missing Christmas with my family, though, because I couldn't do it. Um, I would love to go to England and spend it in like an old castle or something, an old establishment or something where it was all Victorian or Edwardian and all decorated and um, decked out like the olden days and they had the old drinks and food and everybody oh that would be my favorite just some old English um, bed and breakfast or castle or um, manor or mansion or something that was all completely decked out you know like something that you would see on Downton Abbey that would be like a dream fairy Christmas with all the the trimmings and all the things that you know that we've seen and read about all these years would be like a dream Christmas, but I could never spend the Christmas season away from my boys. So let's say we did a Christmas on a different weekend like we are this year. I would totally be okay to go over to England and then have Christmas before or after I came back. That would be okay. And if we could be me, Gary, and the boys go over for an English Christmas, oh my God, we would all love that. That's not going to happen in our lifetime. But that would be like a fairy tale dream Christmas. Could you just imagine? It would be just lovely. <clears throat> All right. Are you a pro present wrapper or fail miserably? Um, I would say I'm a really good present wrapper in the days that we used to wrap presents all the time because I was all about, you know, the the ends had to be folded and it had to be neat and it always had to be crisp and with the ribbons and the bows on top and stuff. Um, so I was used to spend a lot of time wrapping my presents. Um, now this time, um, you know, the boys don't care if they look like that or whatever. It's all wrapped up fancy um, since we don't do the presents as much as we used to. Simple wrap paper and bags now, but back in the day I used to like to be very meticulous that my packages were very perfect and crisp and everything was folded in with ribbons and whatnot. So back in the day, yes, things change, don't they? <laughs> All right, I want to make sure I'm not, I get so busy talking, I want to make sure that I haven't um, missed anything here on the list. Oh, just a minute. And my most memorable holiday moment is always just my boys being small, 
with that joy that they had in their faces waking up Christmas morning or the anticipation and the, just the sweetness of getting the milk and cookie out for Santa the night before and getting them all tucked in bed and then um, hear them rustling in the morning and then um, rushing down to see what Santa brought them. So I guess it would be from my boys' youth, just those type of memories just always oh, stick in your head and just that, that pure joy that they had when they were little, um, when Santa was truly in their hearts and what I guess would be my favorite like memory memory. But just spending time with my family and making new memories um, is always lovely too. But just when they're little, I saw Christmas is magical when you have little ones, be it your children or grandchildren, you know, and I said, just hang on to that man. I, hang, I hung on to Santa as long as I could with my boys, just maybe just as much for me, just because of all oh, that joy, because once it's gone, it's gone, you know, I think I gotta wait for the grandkids, and that could be a long wait. <laughs> um, when did you realize the truth about Santa? I don't even remember when all that And happened. then the last sure. question is, what makes... Christmas or the holiday so special for you and of course it's being with friends and family and just um, the gathering of people and all of that so that's my favorite thing about the holidays so everybody have a lovely Christmas happy holidays to you whatever holiday um, this time of year brings for you and your family and take care bye everybody